point, uh, hit that like and subscribe on there. Y'all, man, I seen way from this morning some fucking disturbed shit. These damn devils, man, how that ain't. If there's such a thing as the devil, how that ain't the devil? I just like to know. Motherfucker do all this devilish shit and don't want to be called the devil. Straight Satan. And, like, man, just when you even thought you got some shit figured out, you think you're knowing a little something. You would have read a couple books or whatever. <laughs> you see Malcolm X. Now you know it's a you know now it's a movie. It's been a movie a long time ago, right? It's old now. Nevertheless, um, even reading the book, seeing the movie, whatever, all that that shit's uh man. <sighs> That's just the tip of the fucking iceberg. It's so much, you know, how important it is to know. I don't, I don't, I don't even know to tell you the truth at at this point because it's just so much bigger than a man or any man, any one man. You know, he changed his life, and that's uh, positive and dear strides for the movement and for the uh, for the nation. He did a lot of work, you know. But just like uh, like in my case, you know, uh, in in Mel, I'm not Malcolm X age, man, but you know. Like in my case, uh, some of them, it just don't turn out how you think it's going to turn out. And that'd be yours, you know. But then the world, the world is an influence. And everything is stacked up against us so much. And the root of our shit is a narcissistic ass slave master, man. So... Anyhow, what I was starting out to say, I guess I need to be recording the screen. Huh? Once I get it straight, I'm going to do that. That is a good idea. Okay. Since I thought of that, I might have to do that. Take the eyes off of me anyway for a minute. Check this shit out. Yeah, so back. Gordon Plaza was sold as a dream for black home buyers. It was a toxic nightmare. Like, this shit made Tuskegee Experiment look like trips to Disneyland, man. This is. Oh, man. Like I say, you think you've been hurt at all. You see this shit? New Orleans city officials allowed developers to build homes on land contaminated with chemicals linked to cancer. They didn't tell the people who moved in. And you know who that is. This is this like it's criminal. This is just straight criminal. Even today, this was, that was in the seventies. Even today, they don't want to fool with it because of the ground being so toxic.
Well, uh, you see where it's at. Um, I, I haven't subscribed to this, but I guess me and my... Maybe I might need to. I don't know, you know. Um, I didn't check NOLA to see if this is something that's available there. But I see what it is here, you know. I've re it's, it's a very long article. It's quite long, and I read it. All... Um, can I summarize it well? For, for they sold these places back in, um, I, I believe it said when uh, Dutch Morel was the mayor. And yeah, even he, some of his staff was uh, sold, you know, on this nightmare shit. Fiola Allen's. Dream home since the top of a nightmare. The city of New Orleans built 67 ranch style houses on a sprawling former garbage dump in the late 1970s without saying a word to the black, mostly first time home buyers who were encouraged to move there by city officials. Under the untreated sorrow where new residents Planted fruit trees, grew flower gardens, watched their children play in the dirt, were 149 contaminants, 49 linked to cancer. And people got all types of cancers, um, what you call it, the uh, Alzheimer's, whatever, the, you know, whatever they call that, that the other word for it, you know, but the same thing, right? You you don't know who you are. You don't know who other people you are. It's a lot of that. And uh, this is what I I'm always saying. This is what I'm saying about them the the shots and anything else, man. Be cautious, whatever. It's it's better to to, to handle our shit ourself. You know, you got you got to take care of yourself. You depending on this. Environmental Protection Agency, you think they gonna protect you? They don't give a fuck, you know. They ain't give a damn then, and they don't give a damn now. A shit about nobody really. But you, you black, you think they give a fuck? And you see, this says, an obscure Louisiana law shields municipalities from being forced to pay damages. Attorney said earlier this month, a judge reaffirmed to the other city court. You know, it's, it's games. The games they play. Fuck, yeah, it's some obscure law called racism. So... They take towns from you, burn burn this shit, run you out of town when you when your shit's successful. They they kill you, drown your town, drown you, whatever, right? Yeah, this the one that got me. This lady found a okay, she was digging in the yard to plant a tree or some shit and found a canister with a fucking skull and and X on you know one of them old school shits straight fucking toxic and can't get out of it nobody it's worthless it's less than worthless they just stuck I, you know, I think I can get the fuck out of the dies and let the chips fall where the fuck they made me personally. And, 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 you know, right, like it's worthless, but I bet they got to pay tax on this shit. Then, then what they going to, I mean, what, or do you? Fuck, fuck that. Paying shit. Alzheimer's. Dementia. Hey, pain. Jack. Jack.
can't sell it. Dick would they could take it from you and that shit is contaminated for fucking, you know, uh, 200 years or some shit. Fuck it. I hold on to my paperwork. Whatever. Maybe at some point you might get some bank, some money off and get something back, but it ain't worth your life. It ain't worth your help. No way. Just when you think you heard it all. The government failed, y'all. Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, you're crazy. Hi. I forgot. Yeah, so... Man, it 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 just don't stop. It don't it don't stop. But man, fuck all that. I you know, like I say, hey, you can't win them all. Just keep it fucking moving. That's all you can do. Keep it moving. Don't stay there. And let the shit get contaminated. Let them build schools. When you find out, when you found out, you found out. That's for sure. So, whenever the fuck you knew, that's the time to get the fuck out of Dodge by any means necessary. Pretend that the clan is running you out of town. Just, you know, get it. I, I'm just saying, I do. That's what I, I do. What I gotta do. I pretend that they burnt the cross on your lawn. They said, nigger, it's time to go. And just pack your shit and go. You're dying. You're killing yourself. You know, if anybody that's in Gordon Plaza happened to be listening at the sound of my voice, you know, get the fuck, man. You, you dying, you killing yourself. Any means, fuck it, sell your shit and go. I make man people just make so many excuses for so many things you know start out on get your air mattress get your or no mattress start out wherever you got to start your life you're dying damn man man I'd be desert that shit the fuck. That just don't make no sense though. Like a lot of people, um, that's a couple of generations of people that just stayed there and got sick. And, you know, like, I guess that was the technicalities. You caught up in it, even though it's worthless to anyone else, but you gotta. Paperwork say 20, 30 years or 40 years of how, you know, refinancing this, that, however, you end up working out, you know, with interest and all the other things that they probably threw in that they, they, they more likely got gypped on top of getting gypped, you know? Why not? Fuck this double fuck. And they want to hide that shit. Talking about critical race theory or whatever, man. You know. Yeah, I guess you would want to hide. Hide the fact you fucking demon. Demon fucking from hell. Then I'm watching, um, checking out this movie Alice with, uh, what's her name? Kiki Palmer. Motherfucking, um, that shit's a trip because I just was talking about that. Man, I was just talking about that to the black Republican dude. Telling him about the uh, they had slaves in the 70s, man. Some people, you know, people that had got released 
wherever, and it, yeah, I guess it's Georgia. Um, but I think it was more than Georgia, to tell you the truth. Because that, that shit, that one I heard, I thought it was Mississippi or some shit, but yeah, whatever. Uh, that's where her, you know, this movie, based on real life situation, that's where this took place in Georgia, somewhere in Georgia. Deep up in the, in the, in the woods, it's a rural country, and yeah, it's just funny how shit just be a thought in your mind, in my mind, a conversation, a thought in your mind, and not long after, like mm, four weeks, six weeks after they released the movie. It, you know about this this ain't the first time this shit to happen it just seemed like some really weird Truman show type coincidences be going on it makes you wonder you know you understand yeah 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 it's really weird and and so yeah, well, you know, you know the movie. She, she, you could tell from the cover. You know, she escapes. You know, it tells you what she got into it with her owner, and end up stumbling on the road with cars and shit. And like, what the fuck? But basically, that's how they played us for the longest because you think about it. You, you hold it, it, to keep people slaves you got to hold your own self back in progress in some type of way wherever they're doing that in the world thinking that they're getting over because you're in a position of, of power authority the other person look at, 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 at as a lesser than like we are all over the world You know, and you can get away with a lot of shit, a lot of places in the world, and they do, but they weak, they weak too, I'm, I'm pretty sure it all catch up to them in the end, but how much damage they do, and I guess we all suffer our karma got to learn our lessons it it just goes to show you i'm sure them was those, those people was you know a lot first i don't buy it whatever whatever but that was the 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 best and the brightest right there in any in any time back in then you know that's the best and the brightest but just go to show you the best and the brightest in their field of bookademia <laughs> academics and things and you know the best at doing being a servant for the, the man the best police officer cracking more heads than a white man the best you know whatever that is those kind of things something political or whatever but you're just doing the job of a call you're doing the same job that they would do they're very comfortable they could sleep well at night knowing you can crack more heads than they could ever crack and you can't say that it's racist because you are black that's how the game go that's the game, that's the game, that's the game. But, but in a good way, keep it fucking moving. Look behind, that's real, that's all real. That's, that's no doubt about that. You got to keep it fucking moving. Be smart. Learn from the mistakes, huh? Keep rolling, don't stand in the motherfucking place for no fucking 40 years killing yourself 
giving yourself cancer, you know, and I'm saying this shit, this people's real life, life right now, right, like right now, right now, some people, well, yeah, this is seen the old boy in front of his house, put the trampoline up so his people could play without touching the ground, man, what kind, get the fuck out of there, dude. I mean, this is your, you know, that's the thing, man. Like, fuck, gee, oh no, this is my life. Yeah, that's the point. That is the point. It's your life, bro. Bounce. Whew, boy. Hey, everybody ain't going to make it. Everybody can't make it. Everybody ain't qualified to be qualified. Some people got to be pawns in the game. What's chess without pawns? What would the chess game be if you didn't have pawns? Sacrifice. Everybody play their role. I can't do nothing about that. None of us can do nothing about it. Just best try not to be no fucking pawn. Do your best in this life to not be no pawn. And if you're going to be a pawn, be the kind that can turn into a queen king. You know, be the best pawn that make it all the way across the board. Fuck the dumb shit. You heard me? I... That's quite enough, I think. Uh, hopefully, I made some points so I can make a point. You heard me? Okay, I'm out. Peace.